Hey guys, a long time no video. Um, I've been really sick the past few days, so if I look really like swollen or sound really nasally, that's why. Um, and also, I've been taking a lot of classes. I'm taking like 21 units right now, which is actually a lot. <laughs> um, but anyways, I decided to do a video for you guys today, so it's just gonna be a plain old haul video, and I'm just gonna keep it to one store. So I went shopping at Forever 21 of the day, and I have like a love hate relationship with Forever 21. I like some of their stuff, but it's like such bad quality that it really turns me off. Um, <clears throat> but I got a bunch of stuff, sorry, I'm going to be clearing my throat a lot because, like I said, I'm kind of sick. So I got a lot of stuff there, and a lot of it's really cute, so I wanted to show it to you guys. So first off, I got this necklace. It was like only $6 or something. It was really cheap. Um, they actually have a lot of really cute jewelry once in a while if you search hard enough. So generally speaking, I'm not really a fan of like bib necklaces just because usually they're a little bit too gaudy for me, but this one's actually pretty okay. Um, I think this would be really pretty with like a white or black tube dress, something really, really plain. And it's like, has like green little crystals in it and a gold chain. So I thought that was really pretty and it's a really good price. Okay, so the next thing I got, this is so boring and I hated getting this just because I was like, oh my god, every girl in the club's going to have this, but I just got this little tube dress. It has like three different colors. It's light gray at the top, medium gray, and then um, black on the bottom. And so I love tube dresses. Most of my dresses are tube dresses just because I think it flatters my body type a lot. Especially if you're not very like, you know, heavily endowed up top. It looks pretty good, I think. Um, so yeah, I got this, which is so typical and plain. The next thing I got was this dress. Now you guys are going to be like, that's a shirt. Okay, well when you're 5'2", a lot of stuff is a dress that wouldn't be a dress on other people. Um, <laughs> So, this was really, really cheap. It was like $4 or something. I don't know. It was supposed to be like 20 I think. And then, you know, it's kind of out of season right now because it's getting colder. And SoCal is actually still pretty warm. I could still probably wear this a few times before it gets too cold to wear it. Um, but I love like white sundresses, day dresses. I think it's just really flattering. Um, this actually hits only a few inches above my knee, so it's actually really not that short on me, even though it looks really short right here. It's because I'm really petite, so it's the only benefit to being short shirts become dresses. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I got was this little thing. Now, this is generally speaking not my style. Um, it's like kind of like banded waist and then the top flows over the front. And it's really like flowy, but it's really pretty. And like the way they embroidered it is really pretty. Um, granted, it's Forever 21 though, so it's probably going to fall apart pretty quickly. But I thought it was really, really, really pretty. And this was only like $27, so I, know, I thought it was really pretty. And the material is much higher quality than most of their stuff, and it's not like falling apart or anything, so I like it. <laughs> it's like great. Okay, so the next thing I got, I was kind of annoyed by this. Um, so this one's just a tube dress too. It actually looks a lot cuter on than it does looking at it on the hanger. Um, I'll probably post a blog post of some of the twit pics I did with these clothes, so you guys can see it on. It actually does look a lot better on. Um, and so it's just like a little black tube dress. Like I said, I love tube dresses. And it has like all this little embroidery right here. I know this is the annoying thing about Forever 21. This is why I hate buying their clothing. Obviously the quality isn't that great. You kind of get what you pay for, you know. Um, if you guys can see, it's already falling apart like right here. Like, I don't know if I can see. Like right here, it's like missing stuff already. And yeah. It's missing stuff in a few places. Like the embroidery is already falling out. Which is, okay, like, kind of expected, but it's just kind of annoying because this one's, like, one of the more expensive Forever 21 dresses. It's, like, $32, which is expensive for a Forever 21 dress, and I don't know. I hate buying one-time dress, one-time use dresses just because, you know, you pay 30 bucks and you only wear it once. But, mm. Yep, there you go. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I might return it. But it was really, really cute on, and, like, I don't know, I'll probably post pictures on my blog with it on. It's actually really, really, really cute on. I think it'd be really cute for, like, a formals or something like that. But, you know, it's annoying. Probably you can only wear it like once or twice without it falling apart. And then, so the last thing I got was a jacket. Because I'm actually going back to New York um, sometime in December after school's over, just for a winter break. And so I was trying to find like jackets and coats. And I've always loved like buying like jackets and coats. Um, and so I got this one. And I actually twit picked this one. And so the reason why I was kind of eh about this is because my mom, I sent a picture of this to my mom, um, she doesn't text but then my sister does so I sent a picture to my sister to show my mom because I couldn't decide if I wanted to get it or not. Um, so this is $34 which is more expensive than most Forever 21 stuff but it is a jacket so obviously it's going to be more expensive um, and it's actually much better quality than a lot of their stuff like that dress. It's actually really like heavy feeling, heavy weight, it has like a nice inside lining that's really soft. Um, 
And so yeah, I sent a picture to my mom, and my mom was like, I don't like the buttons. And so I was like, okay, I don't like the buttons too, just because, you know, like, your moms are right, like, 98% of the times. So I think as you get older, you realize this, your moms are usually right. Um, and so I didn't get it, and it just bothered me, like, all weekend. I kept looking at the photo, and looking at the photo, I was like, dang, I wish I'd gotten it. So I went back, and this is the only one they had left, and this is actually the only one I remember seeing at all. Um, they actually have a blue version of this, or it's like gray or blue, another color, I don't know. Um, but they actually don't have the black one on the site or in stores, so that's really weird. But I actually got like the only black one they had, and it's in small. And this would actually probably look really good on someone who was like two inches taller than me. Um, but I still think it looks pretty good, so I was really happy about that. And then I have a little thing in the back. There you go. Just because my mom doesn't like gold buttons. She's like, I don't like gold buttons. Even though I have other jackets with gold buttons on it that she never said anything bad about. But I don't know, she doesn't like gold buttons, so... But I still got it anyways. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's kind of my quick haul. So I'll probably talk to you guys pretty soon. I know I've been very MIA. I've just been busy, you know, school first. So yeah. <laughs> anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.